Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 4 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh, today, lots of stuff I'd like to get done. Uh, one thing, I'm getting low on food. <clears throat> so I could go run around and kill some more cows, or we could try and get this farm going a little better. Uh, and I think that's what I'm going to do. And to assist with the farm, I want to try out a new tool or a new device that I haven't yet played with. Uh, and that is from Thermal Cultivation. I'd like to try out the watering can. Uh, it just needs a bucket and some copper, which I should have, like, all of that already. Uh, I, I should probably make another bucket, though, instead of using the existing one. Um, but that sounds like a nifty gadget to get. Now, I can upgrade this guy uh, with a little bit of invar and some bone meal and redstone to get a better tier. Um, so, nice. All right, so this guy basically can do a three by three area. The Harden can do five by five, seven by seven, or nine by nine, or 11 by 11. Uh, and then there's a creative one that, you know, just has infinite water in it. But this watering can should, in theory, go ahead and allow me to speed up the production of wheat that I'm currently growing. So let's do that. Aha, okay, cool. So unlike other watering cans, it actually picks up the water. Oh, but you're fast. I like you. You're really fast for growing crops. Nice. And I've got, you know, whichever mod it is, there's, I forget which mod it actually does it, but there's one that lets you like right click a crop and it like harvests it without actually removing the seed, which is cool. Nice, so the water actually runs out pretty quick, but it's not bad to refill. I like that refilling mechanic a little better than the extra utilities one. Um, only because the extra utilities one feels like it takes a really long time. The extra utilities one doesn't use up the water source, um, but that's okay because we've got, you know, it's Minecraft. We have infinite water. That's a thing, right? So this watering can is not bad for an extra little thing. All right, so there's a couple approaches to using uh, the wheat that we've gotten here. And there's a few other options for food, obviously, as well, because Pam's changes things up a little bit. Uh, so you can either make dough from Pam's Harvest Craft, which requires salt, which you can get from water, uh, water, and basically a couple of different Pam's tools that have unlimited uses. So once you make them, you're good to go. Uh, the other option uh, would be to use your wheat uh, and, and grind it up in a quartz grindstone that we already have one of. And then you get flour, which you can smelt into bread. Uh, so that's pretty much what I've gone ahead and done for a couple of them. Um, that looks like a pretty good approach. The only annoying thing is you can't really easily automate this bit. So we might want to look at doing uh, the, the other way anyway. All right, guys. Uh, so the next thing I'd like to do, right now I've got a pick that has a mining level of diamond. I don't know if that means it can mine. Di I think it means it's like... It can mine diamond, but it can't mine obsidian. Uh, and I would like to eventually visit the nether. So what I'm gonna do is get some water and some lava and drop it in here. And these guys will mix together into a block of obsidian. That's a sneaky, nifty way to get obsidian. And then what you can do is get a sharpening kit. So obsidian sharpening kits upgrade your tool to be able to mine at a higher level thing. This will give you the ability to mine up to cobalt, it looks like, which is pretty neat. Uh, so to get this obsidian sharpening kit, uh, first we just need to get ourselves a sharpening kit pattern. We'll drop it in the chest here. Uh, the sharpening kit pattern with some stone will get me a blank stone one, right? And then we can do clay. And once that's done, obsidian. Now, I don't know if we need one or two blocks of obsidian. I'm hoping it's one, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's just one. Nice. Uh, and then I think I just need some flint. So can we get a piece of flint, please? We'll get all five. I'm pretty sure I just need one. But now we've got an obsidian sharpening kit. Uh, we can drop this, this, and this together. And now we've got fortified with obsidian. That's cool, which means we can mine up the cobalt. Uh, at the very best, it means that we can also mine obsidian itself, which is a neat trick, if I do say so myself. It's one of the ways that I usually sneak around the need to use diamonds uh, early game. It's a trick. It works. So with that said, uh, we now have the capability to mine obsidian, uh, and we have the capability to, you know, get some good stuff. I wouldn't mind teching up a little bit um, to the point where we'd have a hammer and hi creeper oh I almost survived that um 
I wouldn't mind getting a hammer. That would probably be a neat thing to have right now. And... Nice. That's good stuff. Alright, so I should be able to break this obsidian no problem. It's going to be a little bit slow, uh, but not slow enough that it's going to hinder me. I'm going to get a little bit of obsidian off camera here real quick, and maybe we'll take a quick visit to the nether and see if we can't get lucky. So I'll mine this obsidian off camera real quick, and then we will take a quick trip to the nether and see if we can't get lucky. Cool? Back in a minute. All right, I'm gonna call that enough mining for the time being. Uh, so that is 15 obsidian, right? Uh, that should be more than enough uh, to build ourselves a little nether portal. And hopefully we get a nice nether spawn. So plans for today are mostly um, improve our mining experiences, because right now mining is really slow. We have a nice pick, uh, but we don't have a great, uh, like, better mining tool. I'd like to get a hammer if we can today. I'd maybe like to look into iron backpacks a little bit, because that's also a nice thing. And also, also, I might look into uh, the, the dank null today. But that's a lot to do in one episode slash one day. Uh, so we're going to have to be a little bit uh, aggressive with our time frames if we're going to meet all those goals. So let's pop off to the nether first and see what kind of luck we can have regarding... Uh, access to cobalt and ardite and all that good stuff. That's that's a really the best tools for uh, what we want to do. So I'd like to have my nether portal be far enough away from my base that it's not a nuisance for me, right? And I feel like over here on this little obsidian beach is kind of like the perfect spot because I said so and don't question it. So let's build a quick, simple portal. Doing my best not to derp this up too much so I don't have to break a piece of obsidian because that just takes so long. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna go in without any armor or anything and see how lucky we can be surviving the Nether. Uh, no idea what I'm about to run into, so cross your fingers because this might be either really bad or just fine. Loading terrain. Hey, not not terrible. Ooh, I even see uh, already some see some cobalt. That's cool. Let's get rid of these things and whatever is damaging me. Is that what was damaging me? Those little... Nice. Okay. Cool. Go, terrain gen, go. Great. Look, we can totally harvest this obsidian. Oh, no, obsidian! I wasn't sure if there was a block under it. And I was like, eh, I'd probably survive, but... Falling into lava, probably not the best idea. Okay. So I'm going to head for that Ardite as well that I can see down there. Both good um, materials for stuff and things. Ooh, I think I hear a ghast. This looks pretty safe, right? Yeah. And this pick does a good job of harvesting these resources, so we're good here. I'm just going to try and avoid that cast. Okay. Uh, not terrible. Beautiful, actually. Where are you? Ow! Fire. Fire bad. Come on, I can return to send to you, right? Oh, he got me. It's all right. That's okay. I've got a gravestone marker, uh, which technically I don't really need. Uh, all we have to do, uh, if you right-click this, by the way, it shows you, like, where exactly you died and what items you had on you. It's pretty cool, right? Um, technically, we don't need to hang on to that guy, but we will. I'm just going to... It is nighttime. A smart player... Uh, would probably sleep through the night before venturing across the world into this nether portal. But um, you, you don't, you don't, you don't tune in for smartness to this channel. I hope, I hope you tune in for the dire groups. Okay, so we should be good. So we break this dude. We get our thing. Nice. Oh, I almost returned to send it him. I'm gonna 
Yeah, you gassed. Come on, that totally hit him. So did that. What was that rubber man? Oh, wrecked. All right. I'm going to go get my stuff back, and uh, then we'll be back. Did you see that rubber banding on that? I totally got him on that one. Totally returned to sender him on the way back. Nice. All right. Luckily, uh, my corpse is here because he totally destroyed my portal, which is bad times for everyone involved. But luckily, my corpse here will... Uh, Ouch, 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 ouch. Cool. We'll put this stuff away. We'll break this dude. And my corpse has a flint and steel. So definitely a good thing to bring with you to the nether because that happens sometimes. All right. I'm going to off camera uh, mine some more cobalt. Ow, these thorns hurt. Times are plenty. Why did I install you? Oh, I see draconium glistening up there in the ceiling. All right. Let me get some obsidian. Uh, I will be back in a minute. Once I've done the task of getting... Well, not obsidian, cobalt is what I'm looking for. Cobalt is the best thing for mining. I'd like to have a bit of that. I'll tell you one thing. These little thistles are not helping my food situation. They hurt. Just breaking them hurts. And uh, it's requiring me to eat a lot of bread. I wonder if there's like a trick to them. Where you can break them in a way that doesn't hurt. If there is, I've yet to find it. Uh, but I have uh, spent a few minutes here just, you know, collecting what I can. So, like, I'm getting uh, nether quartz, and I'm getting glowstone, and I'm getting ardite and cobalt. And I'm just going to keep mining uh, in the nether here for a few minutes, and we'll get back to the base and make some better tools. So today I discovered this is some kind of liquid. <laughs> it is maybe... Can I get out of this? Come on, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. It is, it is a nasty kind of liquid. Ooh, if I do that. Nice. All right, cool. It works like water. Uh, that is like a soul sandy kind of liquid, and it is not good, and I would stay away from it. It is very quick sandy. So seeing as I've run out of food, uh, and I've gotten a decent amount of resources here, I think it's about time, ouch, to head back. Kind of glad that gas blew up this thing, because I hate spawning where there's soul sand. Nice! Alright, so back to the base. Uh, maybe get myself a little bit more food. Um... I would love to find potatoes. Potatoes are like a great, easy food source. Uh, and if I found some of those, that would be nice. You know what else I could do? Rice. I think I saw a rice patty too. Uh, right here-ish? Yeah. Rice is a decent food source as well. Uh, rice bread is good. If you get the actual rice. <coughs> so uh, we'll do rice seeds in like a 3x3. Three three. I don't think I need this stuff so much anymore and i still have you on me that's good so a three by three of rice seeds might not be terrible okay um let's take our carrots and our other carrots and i'll be back in a minute let me clean up my inventory uh maybe get some rice bread and we'll be right back you know what my chests here are getting a little bit full so let's get some crates real quick uh that would probably help us um crates are nice uh we just need a wooden casing which needs a few more sticks uh, I'm thinking at least we'll want two of these, right? Can we do that, uh, Mr. Minecraft? That would be cool. Uh, and then a couple crates. So, like, one crate. Do we have more wood? We could go mining uh, if we need to. Or, or tree chopping. Um, we've got one crate. We just need more wood. Uh, that's fine. What I'll do is I'll just use this as a chest to storage crate upgrade. Is a pretty nice thing to throw in. So, if you... You can either just place the crate directly in the world, or you can apply this chest to storage crate upgrade to a chest, boom, and it upgrades it to a crate, which has way more inventory space, which is way cool. Um, I will probably want to reorganize some of my stuff. Uh, like right now, I can make this chest be like all blocks and whatnot. Um, and you know what? I think I have just enough wood. Nice. To make another crate. Oh, I'm short. Short on wood, wood. There we go. And we could totally do nice. So we'll apply this upgrade here. So this will be like, you know, blocks of stuff. And this can be like miscellaneous junky resource stuff, like including plants and whatnot. 
mob drops. We'll expand this later, obviously. Uh, you can go into the... Well, yeah, I guess we should sleep. Um, come on. There we go. Uh, this can go in here and here. You can hang on to... That looks good, and that all looks good. Okay. You can go in here, and you'll take that. Nice. Okay. Uh, you can even go in there. Nice. And I'll upgrade this thing eventually. So, uh, did not get food, but that's all right. Let's start getting some cobalt. I'd like to get a hammer. Uh, for that, I'm going to need a tool forge. This guy. So it needs four blocks of iron and three seared bricks blocks. Um, I may or may not have the seared brick blocks that I need. Let's see. We should have some sand and gravel and a little bit of clay. That should be enough. We'll just get 16 grout, and it's cool. Won't hurt too much. Um, put you guys away. And I wouldn't mind, like, a manual and sword, because that would be pretty nice now that we've got access to it. So let's um, upgrade this sword blade. So we're definitely going to want also some clay in here. Uh, but one in one of you. And then... We we'll want about eight of those in there. Uh, we're also going to want some iron. Would be nice to have. And what else do I want? The clay. That's right. So it might not be a bad idea. I'm just going to borrow this hopper for a minute to hopper this stuff in. So like the clay can go in there. The iron. The other cobalt that didn't fit. Those should all be a good fit for what we want to do. Cool. So now, let's get another sword blade cast ready to roll. Uh, so let's get you guys. The other thing I'm probably going to want is, um, let's get ourselves plate casts. We're going to want a tough tool rod, which is used for the higher tier stuff. And we're going to want a hammerhead cast. And then we'll also want four, unfortunately, blocks of iron, but that shouldn't be too bad. Cool, four blocks of iron. Now you probably started melting, so we've got, cool, good stuff going on here. Clay is gonna come in next. That's not too long to process. So we've got a good amount of cobalt. We've got some manulin, two ingots worth, uh, which is great. Um, we've still got some bronze left over. So let's get the sword blade cast first. We'll upgrade our sword to a manulin sword. So let's put some clay onto you. Let's put some more clay. Looks like it's about two clay per cast, just as an FYI. And then we'll make manual in the bottom here. I forget if the sword has to be fully repaired before we replace its tool component, but we'll find out. So you're good to go, right? Manual and cool is a little bit slower. Now, can I replace you immediately? Can I just do this and this? Yeah, I can. Nice. So this will boost up my attack damage from uh, 7 to 12.22, so like way more attack, uh, and also way more durability. So manual and swords are definitely the best swords for, for attacking mobs, typically. Um, the pick, I wouldn't mind upgrading to a cobalt pick. So let's do that real quick. Uh, and I might as well just throw all my cobalt in there. It's not going to hurt. Uh, so cast the pickaxe head, and then I'm going to want the pickaxe head to be cobalt, and that'll make it faster and higher tier as well. So that should be cool. Meanwhile, my grout should be done. So I can upgrade this dude to basically this, a tool forge, which has access now to uh, hammers and excavators, which are all better stuff, right? Um, so let's get this guy. We'll swap out this and this. Nice, better durability. You know what I should do? Let's repair. Let's get um, get a couple pieces of gold. I think two is required for a cast. Uh, melt that up. Because I'd like to have an, eye, uh, an ingot cast. And the best way to do that is basically just take an ingot. Hi, spider. I hear you. Don't... There you are. Leave me alone. Wow, that was good. Love it. Um, 
So we'll get a permanent cast for ingots. And that is done with gold over an ingot. And that'll create a permanent cast that can be reused. And we'll get some of the bronze out of here. So we've got four uh, bronze ingots that we can cool off and take. See, and now we can reuse that cast. And I feel like if I repair my pick before I upgrade it, we will um, have a fully functional dude, right? So if I do that, that'll repair the pick. And now if we upgrade it, we won't have to use cobalt to repair it later. So again, um, this guy's uh, mining speed was 6.8. This one's 12. So it'll mine twice as fast almost and have way more durability as well. So that's really neat. Um, now we've got a decent amount of cobalt left in there. So let's get... Um, I want the plates to be cobalt. So I'll get two plates. Um, one for clay, go, and then obsidian. And while that's pouring, I'm going to get myself the hammerhead plate that we're going to need. So each of these requires eight um, material cost. So it's eight iron ingots or eight cobalt ingots uh, to get what we want. And cobalt also takes a little bit. So we needed a lot of cobalt to get that. Uh, but we have enough. We have, we have definitely enough. Um, and then we're going to need the ironing it. So it looks like we'll have just enough of everything, actually, to make me a cool, um, nifty little gadget. Now, uh, let's check the book real quick, because I remember netherrack being not a bad material. Um, I might be wrong about that. There's netherrack. Uh, so on the handle... Well, that's neat. Modifier is not. Ah, no, it's not. Oh, that's an Agma Slime. Hold on, derp. Yeah, that's not good anymore. Netherrack used to be a decent handle type. Ardite's a good handle type. No, it's not anymore. Interesting. So, what is a good old handle type? Uh, Manulin's not bad. Copper. Let's do copper. Yeah, let's do a copper handle. I definitely want to do that. That's going to require three copper. You know why? Because we'll get experience that way. Uh, so throw three copper in there. We're probably going to need a little bit more clay as well. That's a good idea. I like that idea a lot, as a matter of fact. Uh, so that's cool. Let's get the other one of these dudes. So clay, pour it over. Cobalt. So the upgrade that copper gives you is you get experience from more stuff. Now in 110, that included things like cobblestone. It's so like when you mine stone, you get a little experience from it. I don't know if that still is a thing in 112. I don't know if that was an intended feature, but it works. So I liked it. Uh, and we're going to see if it works again. Cool. Uh, now the hammerhead, I want to be iron because I want to have the magnetic trait. Magnetic is cool. It makes the ores that you mine kind of magnetize towards the person who mined it. So it's a pretty neat attribute to have, um, and I think that'll be good for us. So we'll try that out. And again, you can always swap out any part you want, like we just did with the with the heads and everything. So that is cool. And then we we're going to do iron for the hammerhead. And then our last one will be uh, the thick, tough tool rod. That's three. So you're pouring in. You're cooling. Not terrible. And then we're going to need copper for that, right? Cool. And we have a little bit of cobalt left, which is good. I love watching the iron cool because it turns from red to like a pink to a white. It's really a nifty coloring effect that occurs there. Nice. And bronze? Why did I get bronze? Explain to me why I have bronze in there. Did I have tin still? Oh no, I just never put my copper in. <laughs> Oh, you're smart. I still don't know how I have bronze in there, though. I thought I emptied all the bronze out. Oh, well. Uh, copper melts pretty quickly. You know what? I probably threw my bronze in there instead of my copper. That's what happened. I threw my bronze into the hopper instead of copper. Hey, look. They look similar, guys. Cut me a break. All right, so this should be a really nice hammer. Like a really nice hammer. Uh, not the best hammer ever, 
but a really nice one, no doubt. Dire Hammer. Dun dun dun. dun. So he should have a decent mining level of diamond, which should be just plenty for us for now. Um, because he's an iron head. So we can break diamond level stuff. Um, we could throw an obsidian cast on there if we wanted to. But we've got well established, which gives us additional experience. We've got medic, magnetic, which, uh, you know, does good stuff. Uh, mining speed is 3.6. It's not the greatest mining speed. Um, I wonder if I did a cobalt head. Let's come back in a sec. I want to try something. I think I can remelt this. Yeah. I want to try a cobalt head and an iron plate and see what happens there. All right. So with a, with one cobalt head and two iron heads, it's the same mining speed. We get a higher tier mining level, cobalt, but that's something we can easily change. Now, what if I swap this out for this? So that gets me a faster mining speed. Okay. So if I made it a full cobalt head, uh, that would be probably the best mining speed. I don't know if I have enough cobalt for that, but I could probably go get... If I got two more pieces of cobalt out of the nether, let's go do that. Just to demonstrate the increased speed that we have, courtesy of cobalt. And that's without any upgrade modifiers. We haven't even done upgrade modifiers yet. All right, got myself the plate cast. Nice. All right, so let's try that in there. 4.8. Yeah, I think that's worth using the extra cobalt. It'll just give me a little bit faster speed. Uh... Diahama. Nice. That's cool. All right. Uh, so with that said, uh, I can probably just melt down these two irons and get and reclaim them. Um, and we can throw our uh, ingot cast in there, and we'll get that rolling in a little bit. So let's uh, go give this hammer a try. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, we can even speed it up a little bit if we want to using some redstone. We don't have a terribly large amount of redstone, um, but we would get more if we mined, right? Uh, so let's just try it real quick. Like, I'm going to just try it off right here. So if we wanted to mine, like, this 3x3 three three area, that is pretty quick. I don't know if we need redstone. I don't know that we need redstone, if I'm being honest to you. I, I feel like we don't need redstone for that. That's kind of cool. Now, the only problem is both these tools require cobalt to repair them. Um, and I don't have any more cobalt. I used it all to make this fancy hammer. So uh, we will probably need to collect cobalt in between episodes from the nether. Not a big deal. Not the end of the world. Uh, so now the next issue that we're going to lie or, or run into is going to come by way of... So let's like actually expand. Oh, that is beautiful. The point in the game when you get a hammer is really when resource collection really starts to become way better. Nice. You can see I kind of did some branch mining down here and had almost no success. Now at this point I haven't thrown any upgrade modifiers onto my pickaxe. So whether or not I use the pickaxe or the hammer to mine things like redstone doesn't matter because I don't worry too much about, um, you know, things like uh, fortune because I don't have fortune on it. But at some point soon, um, if I get a little bit more lapis, I could throw fortune on my pick and that would make life even better. I think that would be nice. Let's just check this out a little bit. So we're getting lots of redstone, and that's good. I wouldn't also mind a little bit of coal. Um, one thing we're gonna start having a lot of is cobblestone. Ah, good, coal. So that's the one downside, is this thing uh, can't very well deal with things like gravel is a bummer. We'll need an excavator for that if we want to mine gravel, sand, dirt, etc. in a 3x3. Three three. But hey, I'm liking all this good stuff we're getting. And notice all the uh, experience I'm getting. Like, I just got experience from hitting a 3x3 three three of, of stone. That's pretty cool. Repairing this guy is going to have to be a high priority, though. Ooh, draconium. Because uh, this, this durability will not last long. I might even just, like, swap out one of the components there. Because it is very fast. Um, I might swap out one of the components, like one of the heads, for iron. And I think that would allow me to repair the hammer with iron. That would probably be a smart move. Um, do I even have a shovel on me? I do. Cool. 
All right, back in a few minutes, gonna mine for just another minute or two, but we are definitely getting to the point where I might wanna have a backpack. You know what, maybe now is the best time to do a backpack because I am already uh, overflowing on resources, courtesy of this awesome hammer. More coal is good, need coal for power. So I think an iron backpack is definitely uh, in the works or, or should be made right now. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Uh, so let's make an iron backpack. Wow, my inventory is super filled up, didn't it? Just wanna get the coal. There we go. So an iron backpack will be the, the last thing we make in today's episode, because it'll definitely help us um, to be able to hold more items. And uh, then what I'll do between episodes is a bunch of mining, hopefully come back with more resources, and then we can work on the next stage. Uh, so there's a lot, a lot to do, um, pretty much. Tons of good stuff. Um, I wouldn't mind expanding my thermal machines. I was considering doing it today, but I decided, you know what? I really want to ramp up my mining. So let's do that. So let's put away some resources. So into here, we've got like this and this and all this junk. Uh, these guys in the resource chest, you can go. You guys can go. Is clay a resource? I, I don't know. I don't know which, which, which inventory I should put clay in. I guess this one. Um, your miscellaneous junk, your food that I'm probably hungry and should eat. Oh, let's get our hopper back. Not that I couldn't make a new hopper, but... Cool. Nickel and all the other ores I got can be processed. And I'll even throw the 21 extra coal I have here. So can we look at backpacks? Because I've killed a few cows, so I should be able to make a basic backpack. It's going to need wool uh, and a chest. So let's sleep through the night, and I can go get some wool from those sheep. Um, and if I want to upgrade it to an iron backpack, which I pretty much do want to do right away, um, we just need some iron for that. Um, and a blank upgrade, which requires paper and string. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad to pull off. Let me just get my shears so I can get uh, the wool situation under control. Oh good, I do have them. Oh come on, I got far enough away from you. Now I'm gonna have to fix that. Creepers, please. Wool. More wool. Excellent. That should be enough wool for the time being. Oh, and we needed string, didn't we? Well, that's not gonna be a problem. I see spiders. Nice. I see a few more spiders over here hiding under this tree. It looks like two. Excellent. So iron backpacks are going to help us out a lot. I'm going to make a basic one now, but we'll probably upgrade it uh, next episode. Because we are getting close to the old wrapping up one here. Look at this big mess that that creeper made in my hill. You know, hills are not cheap, creeper. All right, so uh, you slimy dirt, huh? Cool. And uh, I'm going to get my string. I know I've got a little bit more string than that. So let's get some paper for the upgrades that I know I'm going to need. So let's make an iron backpack, shall we? Uh, wood is a thing I don't have any of. Let's just get a regular axe. I don't need a super fancy one. Uh, we can chop down this tree. This will at least get me going. Goodness, this is a tall tree. to do tree farm. All right, so iron backpack, just need a little bit of leather, which we should have some of. Nice. 
Uh, now the Iron Backpack by itself, by default, has this many inventory slots, um, and you can upgrade it with four points. Um, and the Iron Backpacks mod has a bunch of upgrades. Um, well, it had a bunch of upgrades. I don't know. I don't know where they all went. Storage emphasis or upgrade emphasis? Let's do storage emphasis. Um, so we'll get some of that. And uh, we'll do the storage emphasis one. So this has more storage to it. Nice. Uh, and that has this many upgrades. Neat. Uh, now we can add upgrades to it. But I don't see the upgrades in JEI right now. So maybe they're not implemented in 112 yet? Is that possible? Um, if that's the case, I might change gears here. But um, at the very least, one thing we can do is go into our controls. You'll notice some of the controls are not by default um, configured. But let's look at iron backpacks. I assume there is a backpacks hotkey for this. Mm -hmm. Backpacks. Let me look this up real quick. Uh, is it? No. Be right back. So you used to be able to equip them. Uh, according to the wiki or, or the, the mod page, um, the version for 112 is in alpha, so it's not got all the features it used to have, so maybe we can't equip them. Uh, but at the very least, we can put stuff in there. So that's a start. Uh, so I'm going to go mining. I'm going to go uh, get a bunch of resources, and we'll come back next episode uh, and maybe get something that's a little bit more automated. I'm also going to pop over to the nether real quick. Oh, I need more food. Let me get that rice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to grow some rice. Uh, I'm going to eat some. Uh, I feel like those are all both like really good ideas. And uh, get some food. Then I'm going to go to the nether. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna enjoy the Nether. Uh, I'm gonna get myself a bunch of Netherly type things, and uh, specifically cobalt. And then we'll be back. Uh, and I'm also gonna try um, swapping out one of the parts of my hammer with iron, so I can make it an iron repair option. I think that would be kind of a smart thing to do. So for now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time to have more fun with the Direwolf20 mod pack. All right, guys. Take it easy.